All right, let's do this. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here. Finally back with more Nier. Um, sorry I was away for a while, but um, yeah, life stuff happens. But I'm back. Uh, so we gotta do Junk Keep. So let's go. Oh, I missed the mouse. Whatever, it's fine. I really should try to finish Nier as soon as possible. I still have Nocturne to play, Dragon Quest XI to finish, Persona 5 Strikers to finish. You already possess the following item, Memory Alloy. It's a shame cool, but I want more. Lad was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. They will give me more, right? They better give me more. Perfect time for farming. Basement 2. Ooh. Oh, I guess my headphones weren't plugged in properly because now I'm hearing like things out of my right ear. It's adding more funkiness to the music. Ha ha ha. Uh, PS4, don't die on me. I have the AC going for a bit. Hopefully that cooled down my room enough. Because the stars get freaking hot here. The elder brother postponed his joy for the sake oh. of his sibling. Who's here? Oh, you're here. Ah! He was ever truly happy. Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. I wouldn't know. I'm a younger sibling. Come on out. Man, they're going down real fast. Yes, all the broken antennas. I know I'm gonna need a lot for um, weapon upgrading. Uh, I forget where to go. Okay, so if I want one extra memory alloy, I should go to the big room, and I'll do that. Because... Item farming! Gonna need it anyway, might as well just do it. <laughs> uh, what's this anything? Oh, that's it. No, yeah, this is a thing. Ooh, hi! A meal heads! Ha, <laughs> I love it. Oh, okay. That was fast open. That's the metal board, nice. Okay, now let's lock on onto those guys. Thank you, good. Double Kraber and Broken Motor. Oh no, wait, I don't have to come into these small rooms. I only have to go into the big ones. Oh well, these small ones get materials too. Uh, did I even get hit by that magic? I don't think I did. Okay, well that gave absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'll just make my way to the big room then. I don't have to worry about the small fry. Because I'll keep seeing them pop up. It's just the big boss dudes I need to worry about. Uh, yeah, through this way. And I have to be careful here. Make sure I pick up amber and other stones. I think those are also like slightly rarer finds for uh, equipment upgrading. Ah! Yeah, explode please. Thank you. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Whee! Yeah, there we go, Amber. Nice. One regret I have is um, I used up giant eagle eggs for quests before, and I should have just saved them all because I realized. Oh! I realized I need um, four of them for 
weapons upgrading and their rare finds. So while the Airy was still around, I should have just run back and forth to pick up the material. Too late now. have to level right oh yeah i thought for endings c and d i needed to upgrade all weapons fully to level four because that's what i think you had to do an automata but in near you don't have to upgrade them you just have to have all the weapons in your possession so all the grinding that i was planning on doing i don't have to do that until like i beat the game and then I'll stop streaming it because um, everything else you don't really have to see. I just want to show myself getting a um, platinum trophy though. So maybe like after I beat the game, get all the endings A, B, C, D, E, uh, do the um, less than 15 hour run uh, trophy, then I'll just be um, grinding for fish, and um, weapons materials, and money for all the other trophies, and then when I fully finish upgrading all the weapons, then I'll maybe do like a recording, just be like, hey, here's all the weapon stories, because if you see all of the weapon stories together, it's really interesting, I love them, they're so creepy and weird and dark. Was there not a big guy here? I thought there was. Oh, a rare drop. Nice. Ah, machine oil. Are there more? Yeah. Pick up the items. Pick up the items. They'll disappear. Yeah, big boy. Let me get back to you. I just need to pick these up. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to pick this up! Oh, wow! Oh! I thought it would take, like, more charges of Lance to kill him, but... Titanium alloy? I mean, I still need them, but... I mean, thank you, I guess. Oh, and I have to kill these. Oh no, bomb! Uh, okay, bomb. Throw it! Nice. I keep forgetting that the throw distance is lo uh, a lot longer than I think it is. Okay, I think I need another bomb from here. Yes, I do. Okay, pick it up. Where's the bomb? Pick it up. Oh my gosh, the door closed. It's gonna blow up. Ah! Okay, can like someone stay here? Emil. Or kinda. Okay, good. Stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. No, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? Stay here. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Go. Nice. Now I should go all the way down. What was after this? I did the lost forest. I mean, the forest of myth. I don't think Kaina's gonna join me. Kaina! Yeah, she's not joining me. Okay, then we just go. Um, after this was... Was it the Red Batman? Or was it, uh, the desert? Mm, I don't think it's the Lost... No, I did Lost Shrine first. This will be the second. Uh, Airy! That's it. I have to go to the Airy. Oh, so Airy's still alive here, so maybe if I go to the rare, um, spawn location, I'll be able to pick up at least another eagle egg before I 
blow everything up. And maybe I will get the time, um, this time, I'll try to get the time boss trophy. Because I seem to be a lot stronger. Woo! There's a ton of dudes here. I gotta remember to dodge roll to like uh gain some MP back. Okay. Ah! They're coming for me. Yeah, there shouldn't be anyone anymore. Yeah. Replenish MP! Whoa! How is there an item drop here? Get off! Oh, wow. Okay, well, I can't pick that up, and I don't want to chance it, so bye. Uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for helping me, kinda. I'm getting hungry. Kinda want ham and cheese sandwich. There was a big guy here. Oh, there's a big guy here. Okay. <laughs> oh, more guys. Hi. Remember, yellow. One hit KOs, man. Oh, ow. Excuse you. Is that everyone? Yeah. Um, okay, so I want big guys, so go down. Okay. The other rooms should not have dudes, but they have bombs. So if I just do this one closest to the blocked off gate, should be fine. Are you gonna make me do this whole thing before you do the bombs? Probably. Yes. Hi. Okay. Bombs are out. Open the door! Oh! Oh, hello. Whoa. Ah! Ah! They're hurting me! Ow! How dare you? Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Okay, um, hi! I was not expecting you. Okay, stay there, stay there, stay there. Where's the bomb? Okay, bomb is... No, 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 stay here, stay here. Guys, help me. Door, okay, go! Yes, stay there, Samuel. Stay there. Please be enough. I'm getting better at bombs. Thank you, motorcycle. Why? <gasps> Level 31! Come here, big guy. Come here, big boy. Or not yet. Small fracture. Oh, big boy. <laughs> Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Oh, I forgot. Another boy. Three, four. I love being powerful! This is why level grinding is so fun. You just, like, kill everything instantly. You don't have to worry about health. You don't have to worry about dying. Great. Got everything. So now I go to the depths. And 
that should be all the big boys I can get for now. Was he really going to use up one of my memory alloys to upgrade my iron will? Because it's already upgraded, unless... Okay, wait, let me check. Um, Grimoire Vice, weapons, two-handed swords, iron will. Unless he's going to upgrade it to level three for free. It's like, um, you better not take it away just to have it come back at level two again. Oh, hi. Flying dudes. Easiest fights. I think there's more. Plus, if I get all these severed cables, I can sell the extras for monies! But yeah, I don't think I should upgrade my weapons until um, I get the 1 million gold request done. Because I don't want to keep earning money. It's hard. Unless I do fishing. I think fishing brings in a lot of money. And I'm gonna have to fish anyway because one of the trophies is um, catch all the fish and catch the rarest fish. I don't care about you. I don't remember how to fish in this game. Whoopsies! I'll have to look it up. Ah! Too many! First floor. I am going the right way, right? Are you gonna have? Ah, you have nothing in it. Okay. Okay. Level thirty-one. Too bad I can't blow this up. Okay, down it go. Ah! Oh wait, no one's there. I remember feeling so stupid the first time I just fell through that hole. Because I was like, no weapon! I wanted to check out everything and at least um, touch the save point to heal my um, health and my magic. Thankfully, there weren't any enemies beyond this point. So... Oh, memories! Okay, ready? What's the shit? A large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. Yay! You're so great, Phoebe. You've learned so much. You have taught me much, Kalyu. You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Well, there's tons of stuff I don't know either. Oh, hey, Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Wednesday. If train A is going 200 miles per hour west and train B is going 141 kilometer... Uh, how many banana trees do you need to grow to last you the rest of quarantine? Um, Actually, I think June 15th will be easing up and I think everything will open up again. But I'm fully inoculated, so we... we maybe we should leave here and go explore the world. Because we... Our friends. That's right! Yay! It's gonna be fun! Mmm, bananas. Did you know that all the um, bananas uh, that we have right now, they're all clones. Like, original bananas like got wiped out. They don't exist anymore. Isn't that crazy? Sorry, the correct answer is six. Thanks for playing. Um, but what if I eat a banana every day for my fruit smoothie? I'm gonna need more than six bananas, sir. <laughs> Hi. That's some pretty impressive. Cool. 
Well, this hypnosis that would Bye. How's things? Things are good. Um it appears we have some maybe populist. Okay, I don't need that information. Bah. Uh yeah, life has been good. I am actually going to be moving soon, so um uh, streaming schedule might be a little sporadic until after I moved in and settled. But today I had a bit of free time, so I was like, yay, let's stream. Because I have to start packing everything. Like, obviously my computer's gonna be the last thing I pack. And the first thing I set up once I move, but still, it's gonna be a hassle. You're finally moving to Kyoto? I wish! If I could live anywhere in Japan, I would move to Kyoto. I love it there. And it's close enough to, um... Like, uh... Like, big anime stores. And going to Tokyo is only like, what, two and a half, three hours by train? So if I just, like, um go like once every couple of months to like specific stores in Tokyo that have different merch I I'd be willing to do it more words but honestly like the further away you go from Tokyo the less expensive it is and so like you can honestly live more comfortably with less money I live in Okinawa, beautiful beaches and food. Mmm, true. I actually want to go to Okinawa. If I go back to Japan again, I want to visit Hiroshima. Um, I want to go to Sapporo again. And yeah, I don't think I'd be able to make it to Okinawa though. But I do want to go one day. Okay, uh, before I move on, I need to plant some flowers. I haven't planted any flowers this past week, and they're all shriveled! Yay! Discard? <gasps> no! The seeds shriveled up too! Oh no, I am a fool. Oh no, I didn't get any extra seeds. No! I'm so dumb. Oh well. Live and learn. The thing about like um, Japanese houses and apartments though is that they don't have great insulation. So in summer, like uh, it's super hot and in winter it's super cold. But I guess um, uh, the cold isn't as cold as it is in Northeast US. Because, well, I guess depending on where you live in Japan, because the latitude is a lot uh, lower. I want to see Hiroshima since that's where my favorite Japanese baseball team plays. Oh, uh, are they the Carps? I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Or maybe I'm told. Carps, yes! And then, um. What? Okay. Why did that notice pop up? I know how to garden. Um, and then there was someone was the Tigers. Was it Osaka or Hanshin? I don't remember. Someone was the Tigers because I remember seeing billboards for them in one town I passed by. I heard going to a Japanese baseball game is actually like a big experience because um, before the game, like you learned the team's chants. And certain like rhythms to like um, clap your balloons to, and different dances. It's interesting. Like when you watch baseball, at least when I watch baseball on TV, it's um, kind of boring. And I feel like there's way too many commercial breaks. But then when I went to an actual live baseball game, it was like pretty fun because everything just kept going like. Nothing stopped unless they called timeouts, and I was like, this 
this is how it should be all the time. Like, commercial breaks suck, but I know they need money, so... Hey. Everyone on the team has chants and songs and they're always making noise. Yeah. I would like to go to a Japanese baseball game. I just want to go back to Japan. It's so nice. Uh, oh my gosh. I actually want to go back to Japan when um, the next Haikyuu season airs because then they'll have all the Haikyuu goodies. And I'll just buy an empty suitcase and I'll just be like, yo, who wants goods? I'll make sure to pick them up. <laughs> just send me money. And postage, and I'll send them out to you. I also want to visit Shibuya and go to the train station to reenact scenes from Persona 5. <laughs> Heck yeah! Go to the Shibuya crossing, go see the giant um, 104 building. Yeah, I was shocked when I- cause when I went to Japan, um... 13? <gasps> 13 years ago when I first went to Japan, I went to Shibuya and I didn't see the green train car in the um, in front of the train station. Or maybe it was there and I didn't pay attention because I was more like, Hachiko statue! Yeah, when I went again in 2019, I was like, whoa! The green train car is real! Except it had Hello Kitty painted on the side. <laughs> And I also made it to the, um, uh, Sangenjaya, the neighborhood that Yongenjaya was based off of. And I found the laundromat and bathhouse. I didn't go inside the bathhouse, though. But I did take a peek inside the laundromat, and it is exactly how it looks in the game. It was so weird, but cool. Did you find LeBlanc? Yeah! I found the area where LeBlanc was supposed to be, and acro really across from that was um, the laundromat and bathhouse. Um, the, but yeah, where LeBlanc was in the game, uh, it's actually a brick wall, and nothing's there in real life. So I was like, ah ha 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 ha. But I heard it was actually based off of. Oh, wait, no, I read the side entry already. Um, but yeah, I heard that it was actually based off an existing cafe that was actually nearby, but it was raining and I didn't want to, like, stay outside any longer than I had to, so I was just like, okay. I saw the area. The end. Bye. The eerie! Okay, eerie was to the... North exit. Someone needs to build a Levant coffee shop there just to complete the look. But then, um, I feel like the residents of that neighborhood would not like it because it really is a tiny, mostly residential, like, neighborhood. So, and I don't think they would appreciate all the, um, foot traffic. Just to be safe, let's save again before I head to the Aerie. Okay. I guess now would be a good time to farm for giant eagle eggs, but what? Oh! Oh, I got giant egg, but not giant eagle egg. And yeah, the roads around that area were actually very narrow. Narrower than I thought they would be. I cannot fathom that village setting up a mercantile. Mercantile. They must have truly opened their minds. Oh, hi, you're attacking me. I have my doubts. Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Home? That place is a shithole. Be so nervous, Kaine. We'll protect you. I got me taken care of. Worry about protecting yourself. She don't need no protection. 
But you don't need no man. Wait, that was really pretty. Where are the flowers? Okay. Emil, get in here. Group shot. Yeah. Uh, okay. I hope that was a good screenshot. No, that wasn't. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Save this screenshot. Beautiful. Sunlight. Oh! Small children. Yes, that's the metal bat. Oh, they were kind of burning in the sun until their armor formed. That's crazy. Such attention to detail. Hi. I'm sorry, but you must die for me. Armor break plus ten percent. Cool. Oops, I'm gonna fall off a cliff. Ooh, the village. It's home to so many terrible little memories. Isn't it, Kaine? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! Terrible memories. Kaine just yelled shut up three times and Nier and Emil are just like, yeah, okay. Checks out. That's just kind of being kind of. Oh my gosh. There's probably going to be like a whole kind of novel section here. Oh boy. We do not desire. We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live oh, with humans, the then we can continue to live peacefully. But that young man will come. Yes, the young man will come. He will kill us all, women and children included. And what should we do? What can we do? Die. I'm sorry, that's all you can do. It's very morbid, but that's what will happen. Just speaking facts. Okay, I'll actually save here. I could probably get rid of my first um, save slot. I don't think I need it. Okay, so the rare spawn location was down there. Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Wednesday! If I head to the chief's house... And I think Chief's house was this way? Watch me be completely wrong. Because I still have no idea how to navigate this town. Oh. Yep! I was totally wrong! This is the... Store area. I don't think you have anything My new. Whip. Yeah, I bought everything. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, so when I fight Wendy here, I just have to jump off. Oh! Whoops. Jump off but land on the bottom floor, please. There we go. Yeah, I have to jump like that. Can you guys believe it's already June? What happened to the time? Like, 2021 doesn't feel real. 2020 didn't feel real either. Okay. This way to Chief's house. Okay, I see a shiny. Hopefully you will be an eagle egg. I wonder if I could just jump down there. Jump! Yes, I can! No, it's a copper ore. Uh, oh, well. Uh, 
And I will suffer getting the eagle egg. <laughs> okay, chief's house, chief's house. Oops, I have to blow up again. I never sent a letter. Okay, now I go back to the people on the other platform. Uh, yeah. If only Emil can fly me over. Oh, wait, but I could just jump down onto this platform. Yup! Yeah! And then I could just jump down there? Yeah! Look at me go! Zipping and a zopping. How did I already get hurt? A letter, huh? So mm, oh, uh, in every everyone. 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 Vice. Beware! This man is a shade. It's a trap. I figured as much. You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. Oh, I kill people again! Ah! Distracted by the local welcoming party. I'm a Once terrible a person. A carnival of murder. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Kaine, the villagers are possessed. But not all of them. Some are still human. So be careful. <laughs> be careful, he says. I already killed like four. Ugh, she's so pretty with short hair. Get out of here! No way! I'm not gonna abandon my own sister! I was gonna say, she's pretty Kinda. strong What's for going, on? going one handed Don't be against Kaina. She's a shade! But yeah, she's a shade. Ah, uh, now she's just trans. That is true. Stay back, kid. Your sister is one of them now. We are the monsters. I don't care what she is. She's my We're not the real humans. Sorry, kid. Oh, kinda. Nice butt shot, though. Goodbye, sister. <laughs> Why have you done this? We just want to live our lives in peace. Stop it! Don't hurt my sister! I already killed your sister. You monster. You possessed monster. It is you who have lost your humanity. You are the true monsters. Monster. Ooh, drop rate 25%. Uh, hello. Word edits. Weapons. 25%? I want. Wait. Yeah, 25%. Batch assign all weapons. Yes. Behaving as if we are the villains. We are. You are the cursed ones. You are the ones who should die! Kaine! Villagers are under attack over there. Let me pick up my spoils. Okay, these are all healing items. Okay. I don't know if um, Wendy's battle time starts now. I hope it doesn't. Oh, look, a pumpkin seed. Help me! Help me, Shut your mouth. What could those black swirls be? Kaina, get up and help us! Get them! Woohoo! Done. What's happening? 
Okay, so who exactly is Wendy supposed to be? Because each individual vi villager was their own shade, so where did this, like, mass come from? Are you, like, the collective mice? Did you- were you in hiding and then you all of a sudden came out? Like, are those fairy lights? I don't remember seeing that last time. Okay. Oh, uh, like, because it's supposed to be, like, Wendy oh, and fairies, Jesus. Tinkerbell. Is ah, this beast ah, a ah. shade as well? I get it. I sucked up the villagers. I didn't see no. any sucking up of villagers, we but okay. Up, we're gonna kill them all. We can't let that happen. Our village, our world. Where am I? Who am I? And this is why I didn't skip the cutscene. Come on, let me roll. Let me roll. Something from within the creature. Yeah, cool. So do I. I just need to start charging up my magic. Is this the combined power of all those shades? It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first to waver is the first to die. Come on, hit the eye, hit the eye, hit the eye, hit the eye. I sense magic coming from the center. Yeah, so do I. Come on! Yes, got it. Before it covered up. Wait for another opportunity now. Wait! I think those are actual people! Hold nothing back. Those are shades. Okay, roll, roll, roll. I don't think any I did any damage. Whoa, I'm hurt. The surrounding tentacles appear to deflect magic. You, you don't say, Vice. Now, focus your magic on the beast's center. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Woohoo! Nice. Get the blood! Okay, now I have to get ready to run. Maybe I was killing it too quickly, and that's why they wouldn't let me, um, hurt it while I was shooting magic at it. But isn't that the point? That I kill it quickly? Kill it. I have to kill it within eight minutes. Come on, talk again. Or don't. Bye. Something's coming. Yeah, I'm going. Its weak point is located around the back. <laughs> try attacking it from above. I'll try to pin it down. Emil. So to get up, Emil. I had to go uh, I'll, this I'll this way. Busy. Right? You should be able to attack from behind. Yeah. Go around and get yeah, it. I had to go to the chief's Please, house. Hurry. I'm hurrying. Emil can handle this. Circle behind the creature at once. Yeah, 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 yeah. You must strike it in the eye. Did we get it? Oh, damn it. I wasted it. Is escaping it. to the inner level. I'm coming. Gotta. Uh, I don't want to like accidentally fall off, so jump off here. Careful. Cool. We'll help anyone if we lose you here. I think I'm making good time. God damn it! You beat the hell out of that thing. How can it still move? Cause it's a boss, it's dude. Oops. Beyond even my greatest suspicion. Okay, it's being covered. Whoop! Oh, yeah, we go. Help me take it out. I am. I'm on it. Yes. I think I got it. I think I got the time. 
I'm afraid to skip the cutscene though because I'm afraid that Wendy's gonna talk more and then you'll hear the tormented screams of the villagers being like no! Also they look cool under samurai gear I did good though. Instead of wasting my time on ladders, I just jumped down. So yes, that was a huge time saver. Several deleterious abnormalities have been found with the subject in an early stage of treatments. Oh wait, I already read this. Abnormalities. Okay, skip. We've seen this. I don't think Wendy talks because Wendy's dead. Uncontrollable magic. I have to protect the people I love. That was my only thought as I leashed a magic powerful enough to destroy not only the shade, but everyone else as well. All of them. So many innocent lives. Destroy. Eviscerate. Crush. Kill. These are the dark impulses that overwrite all other thoughts. As a being that was created to be a magical weapon, these are my instincts. Or maybe it's better to call them our instincts. Emile's Dream. Rampage. Oh, it's an Emile novel. Okay. I don't think I got the trophy though, because I have to read all this. A klaxon sounds from deep within the bowels of the laboratory. Thick metal shutters drop down, sealing off the room with a series of dull metal thuds. Abort the experiment. Number six is out of control. Everyone get out of here now. Get out of here. The researcher's words are abruptly cut off as a massive hand materializes out of the gloom and lifts him high into the air. The researcher begins to scream. He screams and screams, the sound echoing off the walls of the laboratory, until the hand squeezes down, coating the room in a deep crimson hue. The rest of his colleagues stand in silence, mouths open, unable to process what they have just seen. Then the female scientist steps back, takes a step back, and lets fly with a heartbreaking wail. But this is a terrible mistake, for the sound of her cry suddenly brings forth a monster in all of its terrible glory. It is a body. Its body is a bloated corpse, its head a grinning skull. And it is massive, many times the size of a human. The head lolls from side to side as it tromps around the room on all fours, bringing to mind the wild maneuverings of some wretched starving beast. This creature, this thing, is experimental weapon number six, also known as Halua. No, oh no, please stop! Oh god, save me, save me! I don't want to die! One by one, the maddened cries of the researchers are silenced. If number six understands their petitions, it pays them no heed, instead continuing its rampage of destruction and slaughter with a focus that borders on obsession. After an eternity, the screaming stops. The alarms fall silent, and only then does the creature make a sound, howling out with an unfathomable roar that echoes up and down the empty halls of the blood-soaked laboratory. It's a sound that curses those who have dared bring such evil into the world, and yet one that also seems to be pleading for help. Two sets of footsteps echo in an otherwise silent corridor in the first level of the laboratory. One set belonged to a young boy, his eyes blindfolded and his hands restrained. The other belongs to a severe man in a long white coat. The man drags the boy along by means of a long chain attached to a set of shackles on his wrists. Rubble is scattered here and there across the floor of the corridor, making the journey an exceedingly difficult one for a boy who cannot see. Um, excuse me? Could you please walk a bit slower, sir? I'm not used to being blindfolded and... Rather than stopping, the man only increases his pace, causing the boy to stumble in an attempt to keep up. The last, this last humiliation proves too much, and the boy finds himself unable to arrest his fall. Without the ability to brace himself, he topples to the floor, smashing his head on a pile of debris and causing a trickle of blood to worm its way down his pale, frightened face. Okay. <laughs> Fun times here at near. <laughs> Agonized by the pain, the boy inadvertently opens his eyes, causing the falling drops of blood to emit a strange crackling sound before transforming into tiny white rocks. Close your damn eyes, roars the man. Yes, sir, stammers the boy as he slams his lid shut. He hadn't realized the blindfold had slipped off during the fall, but now he keeps his eyes squeezed shut so tightly that sparkles appear against the black of his vision. The boy is Emil, also known as Number 7. He is a magical weapon whose eyes are capable of turning to stone anything that falls under their gaze. Don't look at me, barks the man. Never look at me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm looking at the ground now, so if you had just hand me the bit. Instead of waiting for him to finish, the man extends one foot and presses Emil's face to the floor with a heavy black boot. Sir, stop! You're hurting me! I told you to keep your eyes and your mouth shut, so do it! The man knows this boy. This weapon could wipe him out with a single glance, and yet subduing him in this way gives him a sense of relief. After making certain the boy is sufficiently cowed, the man leans down, retrieves a blindfold, and knots it tightly around the boy's quivering head. Right then, on your feet, let's move. You know? If you knew that this kid could destroy you with a look, why would you be mean to him? Because with his, like, if you turned your back, he could just be like, boom, I hate you. I'm gonna petrify you and let you die. Like, the guy's an idiot. 
Emil staggers to his feet, trying to ignore the red liquid oozing down his face. The blood doesn't matter. The pain doesn't matter. All that matters is finishing the job they had set out for him to do. The second level of the laboratory is in even worse shape than the first. The environs are little, littered with rubble and rock, making the thought of a decent foothold laughable. When the man's eyes linger on a section of rubble stained in a deep red, he has a sudden image of a warm, gooey brownies <laughs> slathered in a strawberry sauce. Yo, that actually sounds really good right now. <laughs> his stomach lurches at the thought, but when he attempts to avert his eyes, they land on the remains of a human being rendered into what could only be described as paste. The man blinks. His mind goes strangely blank before attempting to determine exactly how many humans had to be sacrificed to create the scattered piles of flesh around him. After a moment, his thoughts simply cease altogether, as if his mind realizes that trying to put such a thing into form is folly. You can go the rest of the way on your own, said the man in a voice much weaker than he wishes it to be. I mean, what does it matter? You're not even human. You're a monster. With this, the man spins around and dashes back down the hall. A helpless Emil simply listens as the footsteps of his erstwhile captor fade into the distance. Emil finds himself alone in a room with the stench of death and blood. For a moment, he considers opening his eyes, but the thought of the horrors that await him quickly squashed his plan. Instead, he stands still and listens intently. Eventually, a far-off sound reaches his ears. That's the howl I heard before. Emil resumes walking, using the sound of the distant voice to guide him, almost as if it was calling him home. By the time Emil reaches the third level, he is moving on memory as much as sound. His hands and face are covered in fresh wounds from numerous falls, but every time he thinks about giving up, his mind returns to... His sister. We studied together. We ate cookies together. We cried together. We laughed together. And sometimes I was the only one who got yelled at. That's why I was never lonely. Our being together allowed me to stay strong. <clears throat> for Emil, his sister was all he had to live for. So holding that feeling close to his chest, he presses on, one slow step after the other. Finally, Emil finds himself drawing close to a certain experimental chamber in the deepest part of the laboratory. The howl is very close now, as he, and as he touches the switch that controls the door, he thinks about his mission. Number six is the ultimate weapon. She is his sister, and he must turn her into stone. The door slowly opens, revealing the massive interior of the experimentation chamber. After a few steps, Emil removes his blindfold and slowly opens his eyes. His sister lurks before him, but she looks nothing like the girl he once knew. Instead, he sees a savage beast crawling on all fours through the shredded remains of researchers. As the thing that had been his sister stops and tilts its head in Emil's direction, he focuses his gaze on it. A series of soft, crunching sounds emerge from the creature as its magic does its terrible work. First the fingers, then the hands, arms, legs, head. What little color the beast once possessed fades to a dull, ashen gray. And yet, somehow, it summons what strength remains and pulls itself toward Emil one slow, lumbering effort at a time. Wailing, the massive monstrosity closes in. Is she worried about me? Or is she coming to kill me? I'm Whoa! Maka, thank you so much for subbing! 16 months! Woo! Emil feels prepared to accept either outcome. After all, this was his older sister, the person he loved more than anyone else in the world. Kalua, I... The moment Emil speaks, number six comes to a sudden halt. Silence descends on the chamber as the siblings stare at each other. I'm sorry, Halua, but everyone says you're too powerful. They say it's too dangerous unless I steal you away. I'm so sorry. As Emil watches her body begin to turn to stone once more, number six simply waits in utter perfect silence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The moment number six's petrification is complete, her memories flood into Emil's mind. The two of them huddling together in the cold, all alone in the world with no one to protect them. All she wanted was to save her little brother. And yet, it was that little brother who, in a sense, saved her. The moment the petrification is complete, Emil sinks to his knees. A frozen sister and a little brother are racked with sin. Alone in this cold cage, two of them weep a single, silent voice. I mean, it's not their fault, it's the researcher's, researcher's fault. I was experimenting on children! It was our combined power that destroyed the Eerie. Whole existences, entire lives, even their memories. We took it all. We took everything. My sweet, gentle sister turned into a monster, and the same thing will happen to me now that I have her power. If my instincts as a weapon went out and destroyed me in the process, if that power ends up hurting someone I love, I... Again, they had to do it to children because I think children's bodies before hitting puberty were, were the most receptive to whatever um, magic that they wanted to implement into people's bodies. We had best to fight yeah. the white chlorination syndrome. I didn't get the time trophy again. Eh, stupid cutscenes.
Oh, the voice is gone. And no farming materials. Okay, so let's go. Okay, I think Junk Keep should be ready now. Uh, check to see if the letters arrived. Let's see the junk heap. Wait, it's still sad music time? Oh, I, we were done with sad music. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Who else is not sleeping? <laughs> is it near a fantastic game? It's great for the entire family. It teaches you about love, about loss, about sacrifice and sadness. Man, it's such a great game. Hello, adults. Taking care of the children? Bringing them out on a midday stroll? Well, I'm killing them all now. I thought there were way, way more um, shades here. Okay. I don't want to unnecessarily kill you guys. Where did all the sheep go, now that I think about it? Because in part one, before the time skip, sheep were everywhere here. I don't think shades need to eat, so I don't think they killed the sheep. Or did they kill the sheep? Because they're not in, like, control of their uh, minds anymore. Maybe they just, like, mindlessly killed all the sheep. Shoot. More words? Physical strength, 20%. Okay. I mean, unless you're a uh, attack power, 30%? I don't want it! Metal bat? No? Okay. There's still gonna be more novel sections? I didn't see the trophy pop up for the novel. I wonder why the animals didn't get the disease. That's a very good point. I never thought of it that way before. How come the animals didn't get the white chlorination? Disease, sickness. Mm, maybe instead of experimenting on humans, they should have experimented on animals. And like, what genes do animal have that they don't get the sickness? Whoops, that's not the that's not the mailbox. This is the mailbox. Do you have a left? Yay, it's done. It's done a lot. Off to off to the junk keep. Uh. Yeah, it's back to the north. Oh, wait! Uh... Do I have the red bagman's, um... Is the red bagman even here? Shoot! I forgot, I was trying to do his quest. If I do the junk keep now... Oh, we... uh, Let me just check the ferry. I really want a ham and cheese sandwich now. Or at least a ham and cheese empanada. Oh, damn. Hi. Nice, easy. Whoa. And so I. Set the quest, yes. Okay. And she told. Exact. So. Uh. Her red bag. Well, red. We got. Uh, what comes with uh, expensive jewels? Uh. Something sweet? What? Pretty flowers? Yeah. Uh, can you, you know what? Shit, but how, how can, uh... Okay, so what am I doing? Uh, quests. Uh, incomplete quests, the promised gift. Okay. Before I move on with the story, I'm Our doing this quest. Is, the strange thing store might deal in such articles. Let's go check it out. Facade was too. That's seafront and Emil's house. Oh, yeah. Facade is to the east, so this way. Ooh, a guard, Sid. An antidote of weed. Do you warm your sandwiches or do you like them cold? I like... I like warm sandwiches. But I'm too lazy to make them warm, so I just eat them cold. I don't think that... The only cold sandwich I like is a banh mi. Wait. Is a banh mi hot or cold? Oh, now I want a banh mi. Oh, frack, I'm getting so hungry. 
Well, now that I'm streaming earlier today, I can always order food because it's it's not too late. Lizard, give me the Mandertail. Yeah, Mandertail. But yeah, my favorite sandwiches are banh mi. So yummy. Damn it! I I need to kill more goats. I need to kill goats. I need their goat hide. I used three last time um, fixing up the map. But I need like another th goat meat. No. Give me your hide. Goat meat. No. Is is goat hide really that rare? No. Goat meat. Oh, I guess goat hide is rare. But I really needed that um weapon for the tro for the endings. Goat meat frack. <laughs> that means I'm gonna have to keep coming back here for, for goat hides, damn it. Now that I think about it, I haven't had like real sandwiches in a long time. Like the only sandwiches I've eaten lately are banh mi's from different restaurants. <laughs> Yeah, I just want like a classic ham and cheese. Ooh, whoa, kind of kicking. That's cool. I don't think we've seen this loading animation before. Really? Yeah. No, wait, I lied. I think I had a French ham and cheese sandwich on a baguette. Yeah. That was also really good. Because it had butter in it. Who knew that adding butter to a sandwich would make it so much more delicious? I say, each time we encounter that bickering couple anew, we are made to endure an even further torrent of meaningless and incessant chatter. Fancy, yeah. They yeah. Love to talk, all right. Remind you of anyone? Grimoire Vice is one hundred times that oh, better. Nice. You don't see this old tome. What's your favorite sandwich, about Smooth? Starting Donny Brooks and set tools now, do you? Oh man. I'm getting so hungry talking about food, but it's so good. Oh wait, I also need scorpion tails, but I haven't seen a scorpion pop up. Oh no, ah, speaking of the devil, a scorpion, where are you? Hello, scorpion. Fishing tip two from a scorpion? Scorpion claw, no, I need scorpion tails. No. Ah, Scorpio. Come back here, you coward. Screw you guys. I'm gonna harvest this carcass first. Yes! There- No, wait. Another claw. I'm telling you, I need the tails. Ooh. I like the sandwiches where you mix different meats together, like turkey, turkey, ham, turkey, roast beef, and cheese. Or is jalapeno. Mm. I've never tried mixing meats before. I've only- Probably because I'm lazy. I'm just like, yeah, one meat, done. One cheese, done. Oh, but that sounds interesting. That sounds like a hefty, hearty sandwich. That'll actually fill you up. I think that's why I like banh mi so much, because they, like, they're actually very filling. And I actually feel like I ate something. Whenever I eat, like, um, deli sandwiches, where, where's the strange thing store again? I think it was just down here. And whenever I eat deli sandwiches, they don't. Um, hey, so we're looking for a red. Jewel. They don't feel it's filling. Long story, please don't ask. You happen to have one? A red jewel? I should have something like that lying around. Ah, here we go. This is less a jewel and more a simple rock. Yeah, I hear they were quite valuable way back in the day. But no one cares about them anymore. Honestly, it's just wasting my precious self space, so I'll let you have it for free if you want. Wait, really? Thanks. Attained red jewel? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's head for back, dude's house, so we can give him this jewel. I imagine it would be quickest to make for seafront by way of the canal. Canal? Where is there a canal in the desert? Is there a canal that connects the desert? 
We'll go and buy the hoagie cut bread at the store and set it up. Mm -hmm. That sounds so good, man. Oh, there is a river. All the way on the southwest. Okay, I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, huzzah to us for acquiring a red jewel. <laughs> but is it truly alright to make a present of something we received at no cost? I think it's the thought that counts here. And whose thoughtfulness are we speaking of? Might I remind you the giver of this present is not even here? <laughs> oh, Vice. You're so funny. Scorpions? No, oh, I see gray marks, but nothing's popping up. Okay. My favorite cheese is actually sharp cheddar, so when I get the chance, I go for it. My favorite cheese is brie. I love brie cheese. I will eat, actually eat almost any kind of cheese. I just love cheese. Soft cheese, hard cheese, smelly cheese. How do I get down there? Okay, I answered my own question. Oh, there's stairs going up there. Okay. Just seeing if there's any harvest points. None? Okay. Yo! You got a red jewel? Oh, this is amazing! Here, come with me to Seafront so we can get ready to give it to her, okay? okay. Let's go to Seafront. Oh, so I don't have to run all the way to Passat then. No, it's about the same distance. If I walk or if I take the ferry, whatever. I've always heard of smelly cheese, but um, they were tried it. Welcome to it Seafront. It's good. I'll hurry and get the apples and flowers. I mean, like, what's so a? What say you I forget the name, but it was a really place. stinky cheese. But it was See so soon. good. It was very sharp. If you don't like sharp cheeses, then um, it's not for you. But I loved it. What a journey this has been. Let us make for the couple's home at once. Now I unlocked fishing tutorial. What? Where is their house? Where's his house? Why don't you mark it on the map? Where's your house, dude? Dude? Donde esta tu casa? We repaired the gate before we realized it leads to an area full of shades. So now we just closed off the path. Of what? I just want this dude's house. I mean, props for making this whole entire town. Where's his house? Is it just on the main street? It's... Oh, it's just you. Okay. Who it is. Oh, what does it smell like? Um, and we most certainly recall you, madam. I don't remember exactly because I ate it like two, three years ago. Three years ago. It was very. It was kind of stinky. Kind of like um rotten, smelly so, socks. Remember how I said I was gonna make things up to you after that whole. <laughs> wedding I think? anniversary yeah. fiasco. If you just imagine like really bad fermenting well, I rotting tried, molding stuff. I just it smelled like that. Remember what I but to it was so good. But I had these two gents help me out and we put together. So how did someone figure out that it is good to me? That's like. what I always wonder about food. It's like what made you think that um Hey, if I combine well, these ingredients so and it, cook it and bake it for, like, wrong. this Very amount of time, wrong. it'll turn into, like, cake or brownies. Like, how do people figure it out? What? Oh, no, she didn't like his presence. When we went to all that trouble for nothing. Honey, the only thing I wanted was a nice home-cooked meal. Back when we were newlyweds, you promised to make me a big feast of all your tastiest dishes one day. Remember? Can you even cook, dude? Huh. Now that you mention it, work has been so crazy lately that I haven't done much cooking at all. Hmm. I know how hard you've been working your little tushy off for my tushy. sake, Muffin. So, 
Here's your punishment. You're making dinner tonight. And you two are going to join us. Aha, so you have to make Wait, more foods. Uh, you sure? Of course I'm sure. It's the least we could do after all the trouble this big lug of mine put you through. That night. Are we inside the house? I'm at a dining table filled with apple-based cuisine, red roses, and a single crimson stone. Illuminated by candlelight, the married couple fills the room with joyous laughter. Wow, he's actually narrating it. The scene fills me with an unfamiliar sense of calm. Just a happy family gathered around the table. It feels so very... Aw, he considers them family. I never thought I'd feel this way. Excuse me, what about Kaina and Emil? Do you not hang out with them? So I stuff my face with the great feast before me, hoping it helps to hide the tears welling in my eyes. Man, it feels nice to feel like a family, but Kaina and Emil are still outside of the town. What did you think of my love muffin Sleeping cooking? around a campfire. It was all delicious, ma'am. I can't thank you enough. And though it boggles my mind to say it, I greatly enjoyed the company and conversation. Sorry again for all the trouble, but I hope this lets you know how grateful I am. <laughs> Only 3,000? If it was 30,000, I'd be like, yeah, cool. I know he can be a handful, but I hope you'll continue being friends with my husband. Oh, and we'd just love to have dinner with you again sometime. Would we ever? Things get pretty boring when it's just the two of us. Don't say that in front of your wife, you idiot! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you now? Oh, dude. Oh, wait, no. That's not what I meant, obviously. But you said it. We've been down this road and know where it leads, lad. Flee at once. Flee, flee for right. your lives. Yeah. So, uh, we're just gonna go. Thanks for dinner. Okay, so now I see why doing this quest, and then, um, later on, story-wise, why it hurts and sucks. Wait, I can just, um, take the canal? Where, donde esta the canal? It's not here. Great. Okay, never mind. I was like, I could just take the canal to the junk heap. Nope. I cannot. Who was the first poor guinea pig? I feel like, like people back then, I guess they didn't have as much to entertain them or like keep them occupied. So they're just like, let's try eating things and see if we survive. <laughs> Die. Closed book. I mean, that's how I imagine a lot of people died back in the day. It's just like, let's just see if this is good or bad. Oh, no, it's bad. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Burn in the sunlight! And that way to Emil's house, we don't have to go there ever again. Ah, oh, more dudes. Lovely. Whoa, it hit that guy all the back there. Okay. Uh, Kaina, you wanna help, please? You want to help kill the dudes? I see Emil's magic flying around. Okay, thank you. I just saw her, like, drawing her sword back, and I was like, who do you think you're going to hit from all the way back there? Drop noise. Okay, let's harvest these. Too little, too late, kinda. Thanks. Okay. okay, I think I could finish junk heap today. Okay. Junk heap was to the north. I'm 
glad I finished a red bag man quest. Next time I go to Seafront. Whoa, do you need a quest? Say, what if people are saying a shade? I was hoping you. Shade is. This isn't. I had my own. Oh, this is the river child shade one. Oh, I guess after I beat the game the first time, all the quests that I picked the up um, of the just disappeared. Finally extended into this village. Mm. Fine. Okay. If I find him and kill him. Will it be that easy? I wonder. What do you mean? Would you be able to simply slaughter the people you lived amongst for so many years? Would you hey guys, the orange the stuff growing at the base of the tree. Don't eat it. Shades. Yeah, especially eating like all Choice. these different mushrooms and herbs. Coming back to a village full of those things. Like, hey guys, who wants who wants to test it out first? When the time comes, I pray you can follow through. Wait, I see a quest marker here. What? Who's out here? What? Hi. Who are you? What's up? Last month, my wife encountered some sheep in the plains. The foul creatures kicked the very life from her. She shouldn't have stood behind them. I came here to enact my revenge. But the beasts are far too violent for me to There's no home. sheep here, dude. So, you want me to hunt them down? No, that won't do. Oh, then what do you want? They must suffer as she suffered. My good man, we are hardly in the business of hunting fluffy animals to I'll death. I'll do it. <laughs> I've heard you've tamed wild boars, yes. That you can mount and ride them as one would a common pack animal. Why don't you learn how to mount and tame a boar? That shall be my revenge. Mount your boar and ride headlong into the sheep. Annihilate them and all their kin across this There's plain. There's no more sheep. This is hardly the most. I haven't seen a sheep islands. here in the longest time. Save your civilized concerns for one who has not experienced my pain. These animals must suffer. They must pay for what they have done to my beloved. This guy crazy. Sure, I'll accept it. Oh, am I doing it now? And all Eris humans have some kind of issue to deal with. Mm-hmm. Yep. Life is the same anytime, anywhere. He's the one killing them. Okay. Do I have to kill all of them? For real? Oh. I think if I'm not, like, sprinting, it doesn't kill them, so... I mean, unless I get money for each sheep I kill... Thank you. Oh. I'm sure my wife sleeps easy now. I only Here killed your four? <gasps> oh! Well, I do get gold! Get go? <laughs> Hi! I'm here, Who's... I'm back. <laughs> Where's your doing it? I know, it's just like, they need to... They need to feel pain and suffering. It's like, well, then why are you making me do it? Wouldn't you feel better doing it yourself? But I don't know. Hi. Uh, 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 uh. Give me money. Give me your money. Give me your money. <laughs> okay, as long as I don't dismount, I could just stay here. So I could boom. Oh, please slow down, please slow down. Oh, if I let go of the joystick, it stops. Okay. So if I do this. Okay. I think I pretty much got almost all the sheep. Nope, I lied. There are a lot here. Oh! That time I got a lot. How many sheep did I kill? Oh, 
think here is I got 18. Well. <laughs> okay, um I thought that would be a good fast way to make money. It's not. It's actually very slow. So I won't do it. There's got to be a better way to farm for money. I thought I could sell my weapons. Uh, but when I went to a store, I couldn't sell them, so... That's not a good way to earn 1 million gold. I'm just gonna have to, like, farm for rare materials and whatnot, and sell those. Or just keep growing, um, pink and peach moonflowers. Ooh! Why can't- why can't it be- have one million gold cumulatively? Like, why do I have to have it in one go? If I knew that, I wouldn't have sold everything. I don't know. Live and learn. So they're- ooh. Let's do junk keep. How much money do I have? Uh, one, two, eight, seven, one, oh. Okay, not bad, not bad. Mouse. How am I getting? Wait, I don't remember having that much money when I started playing today. Where did I get all that money? I know I got three thousand from the dude. I got. 2300 from from killing the sheep. I'm working. Okay, so what level is iron will? It's still only level two. You've got killed. By the, what can I help you with? Never mind. Shut up. Come. Get away from me. I hope it didn't use up a memory alloy then. Rack. If you didn't upgrade it at all, then you don't deserve it. And I should keep it for my future weapon upgrades. Ugh. <laughs> Don't go on the ladder! Thank you. Did he say that the elevator was broken? Whatever. Okay, this time I'm not gonna go for the big boys. I'm just gonna go straight for the boss. I don't wanna go through all these machines and doors again. Kinda. Thanks for never helping me when it counts. Ugh. This is why Emil is the best boy. He'll never leave me. He'll never give me up. He'll never let me down. Remember when Rickrolling was a thing? Like, people always got mad and it's like, How dare you Rickroll me? And I'm like, Thanks for rickrolling me. It's a great song. It's very catchy. I love it. Ah! 
pain, death, sadness. Ah, more pain, more death, more sadness. Does even killing you give me experience? Wait, Emil's not here. So I am all alone. Emil, I thought you were helping me. Ah, oh, he healed me. Better than nothing. But no, no, no! Why do I always press the wrong button to jump off? Okay. I kind of miss seeing Yoda on the loading screen. It just seems to be all kinda now. How about Emil loading screens? You show him floating, spinning around, doing cute Emil things. Oh no, I charged up too early. No, now I'm not gonna get this magic back. I am a fool. I should have waited until he was like, here. You want to finish coming up? Thank you. Level up! Cool. So all my magic came back to me in the end. Cool. Wait, so Wendy gave me that much experience? Huh. Enough to practically level up? Because I don't think I fought that many, um... Shades outside of it. Yeah, because sheep only give, like, um... Yeah, I don't want to do the big movie. Sheep only give, like, an experience. Okay. <laughs> Rare drop! Noise! Severed cable. Machine oil! Noise! Item drop um, word percentage doubling definitely helps with getting more goodies. What would you do if you found out you were an android in the real jelly passed away 1,000 years ago? I would be flipped out, dude. I'd just be like, what? Everything I'm living is a lie? That's crazy. I would Then I would be doing exactly what Nier is doing. I'd be fighting against everything and just like, you're lying, how dare you? I'm the real me. But what if they're like, in order to save humanity, you have to be transferred to an android body. I've never heard of a shade living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. I mean, that's why I also think Nier is such a great game because you're the protagonist, but look at all the death and sadness that you're like wreaking of, like, that you're bringing upon all the people. It seems we have found right. It's like, um, yeah, usually the protagonists are the good guys, they're saving the world, but. What you're doing as near as the replicants, you're essentially dooming humanity. If you kill the Shadow Lord, you kill humanity's only chance of surviving. Then are you really a good guy? Have you really saved the world? No, you just doomed mankind. I thought BB would talk. I mean, Khalil would talk. You 
intruder detected. Scanning. Scanning. Again, I'm not skipping the cutscenes because I want to hear what Khalil says, but nothing got translated. Looks like we found it. Good lord, it's enormous. Intruder detected. Scanning. Scanning. Exterminating. Wow, he's tough. Do it, beep, beep, beat him good! Look at the shade! That thing's commanding the robot somehow. Aim for the legs! Knock it down! Take out the shade! You're telling me two conflicting things, guys! What do you want me to do? Ow. Exterminating. Ping. 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 Oh, don't get close to it. Baby, wait! That's a you're gonna get destroyed if you keep fighting! Must defend my mission. No, I can't live without you! I don't wanna be alone again! Oh, uh, no, damn it. That's a shade. It's a shade! Yes, it is, kinda. Of. Very good observation. To kill him. Kill him. Feel the hate inside you. Uh. Why did that take so much longer than the first time I fought it? I feel like the first time I fought it, he went down like that. But this time, it took me a long time. Just get this cutscene. Is, is Khalil gonna talk? I could have skipped it. Great, fantastic. Thank you, guys. This thing can transform. Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, more than meets the eye. I'm pretty sure he was dead, but cool, you know. Make us waste time on this section. Stop, BB's my best friend in the whole world. Stop hurting him. Error. Oh my gosh. He's even targeting him. Just keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking. Oh, there's tiny little Khalil's everywhere. Well, at least he didn't do the second section of um, flying. So sorry, Beefy. Nier doesn't know any better. They've been fooled. <gasps> I got it! I got the time trophy! Beefy, I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough. I, I wanted to be with you forever. Oh, so in second playthrough, uh... Khalil actually disappears. Because in first playthrough, Khalil was just like sticking around, unless that was a bug. Beep, beep. Alone. Beep, beep. Maybe it was a glitch that Khalil was still around because, um. Yeah, we were still there. Gideon you showed up. And, um. You step and we did nothing about Khalil just hanging out there. Just, just look. Yeah, big strong man kicking a robot after we essentially defeated it, you loser. A certain redhead with a sword and a time machine would be perfect to solve these problems. Hatred and madness. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Wrong 
that head with a time machine. Why is it not clicking with me? Maybe Popol has found the I think the last thing I have No! Uh before we go to facade, I think we have the seafront time now. Which is a perfect place to end because then next stream I could do um which, excuse me. I could do a uh, seafront and facade. You know, I've been thinking. Why was a shade hanging out with the machine? Friends. It appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical minion. Do you think the shade had a reason for what it did? Actually. Look, it doesn't matter what a shade is or isn't thinking. All that matters is that we kill every last Yeah, you're one. so freaking heartless. Right. Sure. The idea of a shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? Aina has a shade too. If the shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. You are no shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy. But you saw her turn into a full shade after you killed Gretel. For example, do not come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. How about I cram your face up your own asshole? Uh -huh. Don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. You will, will you? You stopped it before. <sighs> Thanks, Emil. Chrono Trigger! Yes, you're so right. How how did I not realize? Oh, Chrono Trigger, I'm a fool. Ah, oh, oh, that drop made my stomach swoop. Ooh. Boldor, nice. Royal Fern. Ooh, nice. I think this one goes up, yeah. I'm level 32. I'm level 32. Yeah. I so strong. I so powerful. Come here. Come here. Blizzard. <laughs> Give me the mander. Oh, hi. Whoa, whoa. I didn't realize you guys were chasing me. Sorry, children. But you just keep running up to me. I would have left you alone if you didn't run up to me. If I found out I was going to uh, Android, I would seek knowledge about what happens. A lot of people are always like, I don't. I've probably talked about this on stream before, but a lot of people are always like, I want to go into the future and see what's big and what technology is happening. And then I want to invest in that. And I'm like, wouldn't that change the course of the future because you know what's happening? Instead of going to the future, I'd be like, okay, let's find out everything that happened in the past. Like what exactly has happened? What led to this? Like, it is what is in history books real or were people trying or were people biased and trying to make one side look better than the other i decided to go look for a flower on my own and oh i realized i didn't read that it's too late now ah! hey. we've Hi. been having problems well, with the fairy oh, well, can I sure Okay, I just wanted to start that conversation because I think uh, the next thing it's gonna tell me to do is go to Seafront. Especially if Victor's, um... Yeah, Victor's right history. And I, I wanna know the truth, like, what exactly happened? How did these battles plan out? Like... Did Hitler getting rejected from art school really turn him psycho? This feels alarmingly familiar. Ha. 
I'm sure that couple is merely having an... Okay, yeah, so Another it's telling me to go to the seafront, so... Spirits. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? Okay, so I'm going to leave this here because this is a perfect place to um, stop. Because I don't think I can finish all the next section of the story within 20 minutes and I don't want to rush it. And also it'll give me time to do um, seafront and facade together. So that's it from me tonight. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. I don't know when next time will be. As I said, my um, streaming schedule is going to be a little bit sporadic this month because I'm moving. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen next time. But see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.